If you're here, you're probably looking for the best way to set up Smarters Pro for your IPTV needs. Before we get started, here's a quick disclaimer. I'm not endorsing or promoting any IPTV services. Always make sure you're using legitimate and licensed providers for your streaming. This guide is purely for educational purposes. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump into it. There are four main ways to use Smarters Pro, Stalker Portal, M3U File, M3U Link, and Extreme Codes API. One. Stalker Portal, if your IPTV provider supports Stalker, this is one of the most reliable options. How it works, you enter a portal URL along with your credentials, and the app automatically syncs your channels. VOD and EPG guide. Why choose this? It's great for users who want everything to update automatically. Pros. Seamless integration. No need to manually update your playlists. Cons only works with providers offering Stalker servers. Customization is limited compared to other options. Two, M3U file. The M3U file is the simplest way to set up Smarters Pro. How it works. You upload the M3U file given by your provider directly into the app. Why choose this? Ideal for users who don't need frequent updates or want an offline setup. Pros, straightforward to set up works even with limited internet access. Cons, files are static, meaning you'll need a new file every time your provider makes changes. Three, M3U link. Now, let's talk about the M3U link, one of the most popular options. How it works. Enter a URL provided by your IPTV provider into Smarters Pro and it dynamically updates with new channels and VOD. Why choose this? It's the best choice if you want automatic updates without having to re-upload files. Pros, always up to date. Simple setup process. Cons, requires a stable internet connection. Links may expire if your subscription runs out. Four, Extreme Codes API. If you want the easiest and most comprehensive setup, this is it. How it works. Log in with your username, password, and server URL Everything from live TV to VOD gets synced instantly. Why choose this? Best for users who want a clean, organized experience with minimal effort. Pros, faster and easier than M3 U-Links. Combines all content types into one login. Cons, only available if your provider uses extreme codes. Can be blocked in certain regions. Five inches, one stream panel. This option is more advanced and usually used by resellers or those managing multiple accounts how it works. Enter your credentials tied to a one stream server. Why choose this? Great for users managing multiple streams or accounts. Pros, highly customizable. Perfect for advanced setups. Cons, not necessary for everyday users. Requires technical knowledge. So, which one is right for you? Here's a quick recap to help you decide. For the easiest and most dynamic setup, go with Xtreme Codes API or M3 U-Link for seamless updates with minimal input. Use the Stalker portal for offline or basic setups. Stick with the M3U file. For advanced users or resellers, choose one stream panel. Final thoughts. Remember, the best setup depends on your needs and your provider's offerings, but we can all agree that Extreme API code is the best one among others. If this guide helped you out, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and IPTV tutorials. Let me know in the comments which setup you're using, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.